Welcome! It's that time of the week again. Time for a new Pro League Breakdown, where I will show you the spots and tricks that the pros use that you can start using yourself to win more matches. In this week's episode, I will bring you some super dirty spots and strats from the Pro League match between Gbots and Millennium. If you like this video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe here below so you don't miss any of my upcoming guides just like this one. Enough of me talking, let's go straight into pro tip number one. Well now he, Thrid and Choi are both clearing the floor below. Six Quattro though has killed Lion through this very tight angle that we talked about in towards Cigar. So despite having the hole in towards the piano open, he came through the doorway and Six Quattro was waiting for him. This was a super dirty angle, I just love this one. He was playing all the way back here behind his bags. Just shoot off the computer screen here, just align like this, and then he just started shooting through here. And I will show you where this lands. You see, it goes straight through here because see, you can shoot through this one, and it lands. You see some here, but you also get shots all the way back here. So when the attackers are coming, when you have the intel that they're pushing up here. You just shoot them straight through everything. There's no way in hell they're going to see you. So that's a super dirty angle right there. Themselves a little bit uh, further out, they can maybe play in reading room and play in B site and have holes into A to just kind of go for that retake. Oh. Or rather, the other way around when it comes to those sites. Playing, yeah, no, no, I was right. Sorry, B site playing shooting today. Some more Valkyrie cams up from Cigar. Just went out here. Got this open. Aim up. You see it lands perfect up there. So if you get it inside this window here, it's more covered than if it lands out there on the wall. See, this is the angle it gets. You see very well, for example, if they're standing here outside train or if they're repelling. So very good camera. He also opened up a lot of other windows just so they are not sure where to look. Like where, where when they spawn, if they see a open window like this, they would keep looking for the camera. But if you open up five or six windows, it's harder for them to know which one to go for. They did put a lot of research into Millennium because it seems like they're heavily favoring this staircase as an angle of attack for now. So yeah, maybe they know that's where the push is going to come through. That's why. This is such an easy thing, but a lot of people do it wrong. Like when you repel on a place like this, this is how most people do it, just watching in the clouds. But for example here, this door, very dangerous run out. You have defenders, if they use for a uh, Valkyrie cam or if they have pulse, they just jump straight out and shoot you when they see that you are repelling. So what you instead do, you repel, and you turn upside down. This way you see this window here also for jump outs. If you repel upside down like this, you can keep an eye and make sure you don't get shot while repelling. Very easy to do. This time over, Millennium once again have all the breaching, they have the Montaigne, but can they keep him alive in this situation? What's the point? Where and how do they use him? Right, are they going to try and force him straight through library and then do what we saw with Cease? This is a very creative camera. Do you see they shut away the top part of the wall? Just through the camera up. And this way, from one camera, you can keep an eye on the snowmobile, you can see if you're coming down the stairs, and you can see inside the wine here. So this is a very useful camera, very smart way to get a 360 view of both objectives. For windows. But Dredd really is playing all the way down to the bottom floor and he's playing in a position where... Another very easy thing to do that you see a lot of people doing wrong. If they need to open, for example, an unreinforced wall or hatch, they just run straight up place it like this and blow it but when you do this the enemy hear you and if you're standing like for example here if you're standing right on the hatch they can shoot you straight through it same if it's a wall so what you do instead you just go to the corner you see you can stand all the way back here and still get it placed so this way if you just place it in the corner there's no way they can shoot you. Attack into the upper floors. Right. So we'll see if they adjust or change their mind. They are getting control of meeting room now. They have got drones scattering around Six Catras Montaigne. 
I like that claymore. Did you see that? I just love the creativity in this one. You just open a hole. Should be smaller than this one. The important thing is that only one laser beam should go straight through here. So this way, it's a. They will not expect this claymore. So very smart move to like shoot out a small hole, put the claymore on the other side of the wall, just so one laser is showing out. Endo now has Lion there and around him, repelling and looking for an opportunity. He does stand up the last second, just as the opportunity to see his feet was there for Lion. Who is looking for one angle, there's a player in each window now. Shots coming through from Capitao, he does run to the one safe spot that he could see from there. Lion looking to repel across, the shots come rattling out once again through the floor. Now Yogas is taking a lot of damage, dancing back and forth. He does finally fall, but wasted more and more time for the attackers. It's very common that when you try to repel and get into the kid storm here, you have a defender playing here. Because it's hard for the attackers to see them when they are outside. If they repel here, they can't really get that angle on you. You can play here and just wait for them to jump in and with the shotgun you just blast them. So a good counter to this is to play it here from kitchen. Just above the stove here, just shoot him in the legs here. Because this is exactly where he's standing, between, you see, between the windows. So you just tear him apart from below. This way you will force him to move. You either, either one, you will kill him. Or two, he will be forced to move. And then the repellers from the window can shoot him when he runs away. So easy counter to a common defensive position. All of these different attacks, like you were saying, they were coming in at pretty much the same exact time. Like the guys who were hunting down those roamers. And then the guys who were trying to hold the site. Such a smart camera right there. Just go here to the corner, shoot off the deagle, and then just throw the camera in the corner here. Very dark corner, hard to see the camera there. And since you, you open up the wall, you can see in both objectives. So this camera is very useful and hard to spot for the attackers. That's it for this time. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to hit subscribe and like here below. You can also find links where you can find me on social media in the description. And I will see you next week when I'm back with a new video.